in today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about Doji S89 Pro, one of the latest phones from Doji brand, clearly inspired with the latest Batman movie, which results in this, one of the coolest features I've ever seen in the rugged phones. That's why it's often called a Batman's phone. I'll do a few practical tests and comparisons to check the camera's quality, the phone's performance when it comes to gaming, and also we'll discuss all the major aspects of this phone, so stay with me! Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. In a rectangle shape typical for Doogee's simplistic yellow box, we can find the phone itself, 65 watts fast charger, SIM card ejector, manuals, compliance and warranty certificates as well as USB Type-C cable. In terms of design and build quality, Doji S89 Pro is designed to survive the most harsh and extreme environments as the phone is IP68 and IP69K and military standard 8108 compliant, not a surprise given its generous use of combination of the hard TPU polycarbonate plastic and high quality synthetic rubber atop of the aluminium alloy frame. These protections are ideal if you would use the phone in more adverse situations such as construction work, on a hike in the mountains, scuba diving or use in more drastic temperatures and most extreme and harsh environments. The interchangeable back panel is combined with what looks like Batman's lower face and dark grey trims at the sides make this device one of the best looking rugged devices I've ever seen. You'd say, how's any of this exciting? It's just a regular boring rugged smartphone. Wrong! That's until you connect the charger or receive calls. There are two ice-like LEDs at the back that lit up and complete the Batman's aesthetics. The lighting pattern and colors can be set up in the settings. Without the panel, the phone looks even more distinguished, so to have it or not, it's obviously up to personal aesthetic preference. The top of the device has the headphones mini jack socket and at the bottom we can find the USB Type-C port, both are covered with rubber flaps for water sealing. The right side houses the power button that also doubles as a fingerprint sensor. The volume up and down buttons are placed above the power button. The SIM card tray is on the left side alongside a custom remappable button. Overall the device looks and feels great. The S89 Pro weighs 423 grams or 400 grams without the plastic cover at the back and with its 19mm thickness this monster is pretty far from being slim. And no one really expected it to be slim because a big lithium ion polymer 12,000 mAh battery which can sustain your phone for almost a week of intense use just on a single charge. The full charge of this battery takes around half an hour if you would use the included 65 watts fast charger. Doji S89 Pro features a large 6.3 inch FHD Plus LCD display with 1080 by 2340 pixels resolution and 19 by 9 aspect ratio which effectively gives us 409 pixels per inch. Display has 60Hz refresh rate, which isn't the best display for a gaming phone, and I'm sure this could be a major complaint amongst many gamers, but it's good enough for regular use. The refresh rate isn't something most consider while buying a rugged smartphone. The display gives bright sharp colors and has wide viewing angles, which are more than great for consuming visual content. Screen is well protected by a corning gorilla glass. The bezels surrounding the display are thick, which is expected on a rugged device. The S89 Pro features main 64 megapixels AI camera with f2.2 aperture, secondary 8 megapixel Samsung camera with the same aperture, which is f2.2. The third camera is a Sony 20 megapixels IMX350 with a night vision sensor with Exmor RS technology, which is kind of standard in recent rugged phones. Moreover, the four infrared radiation emitters for the night vision at the back expands the visual range in night vision up to around 15 meters. Here we got a standard LED flash and a torchlight. 
and there is a single 16 megapixel Samsung selfie camera within the notch on the front, ideal for video calls even in 4K. By the way, you would only need 12 megapixel lens to enjoy the 4K video call, so that 16 megapixels is certainly more than enough for a selfie camera. Let's do some tests. Here we got a few unedited photos in 64 megapixels. The quality is fine. All the details are sharp thanks to Google imaging algorithms. Here for comparison, the photo taken on iPhone 11. The images are clearly more saturated. Can you tell the difference? The Doji has AI automatic correction for the photos, whether the iPhone 11 takes more natural photos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here is a selfie taken by a 16 megapixels camera at the front notch. It has that standard creamy unnatural processing I truly dislike. Let's check that 20 megapixel Sony night vision camera. The photos are taken in a complete pitch dark room. The image isn't the sharpest. Now, let's check the quality of the videos captured by S89 Pro. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. The S89 Pro records videos in 4K HDR with 30 frames per second and there's no image stabilization so the captured material is pretty wobbly. Of course, the shakiness can be stabilized in post-edit. Here's an example. As you can see, the video captured on S89 Pro and then stabilized in post-edit looks pretty good, but it's not the case. In my opinion, the S89 Pro would certainly benefit having the image stabilization built in. Here, I was recording simultaneously on S89 Pro on the left and the iPhone 11 on the right. As you can see, the difference is quite obvious. iPhone's image stabilization totally reduces the shakiness and the S89 Pro doesn't. Now let's take a look at the night vision recording. The infrared amateur is doing a pretty good job, however the image isn't the sharpest. The visibility is up to around 15 meters. The professional night vision system having much longer range, but I'm pretty happy with the night vision of the S89 Pro. It's just ideal for fun and for experiments. Tell me what you think in the comments below. On the inside, the S89 Pro is powered by the MediaTek Helio P90 chipset with two powerful ARM Cortex-A75 processor cores, overclocked to 2.2 GHz, and six Cortex-A55 efficiency focused cores running at 2 GHz. The rest of S89 Pro specification is solid mainstream, 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of onboard storage, expandable up to half of terabyte with an external micro SD card, which can be inserted into the SIM tray along with two SIM cards. The S89 Pro gets the Antutu score of 225,472 points, slightly better than Ulefone Armor 9 and Xiaomi Mi 9, which makes the S89 Pro a pretty solid machine for occasional gamers. I tried some gameplay, this is Asphalt 9 Legends in default quality. It runs pretty smooth up to 60 FPS. There's not many lags, but the amount of details in the graphics is being reduced. Let's change the graphics from default to high. The amount of details and shades are visibly better, however, the number of frames per second being significantly reduced. Occasionally, the game gets a bit choppy. Here's another popular game, very hungry for processing power, Genshin Impact. This game will run on low graphics settings. It doesn't look very bad, but it's a low resolution with ugly dithering. I can almost see every pixel. I think this might not satisfy the passionate Genshin Impact gamers. Let's check one of my favorites, Call of Duty Mobile. Let's change the graphics settings to high and the FPS rate also to high. This is one of my favorite shooters, though I'm not very good. The game runs pretty smooth though, however the frame rate drops occasionally as you can see, but still it's not too bad. One more test, another shooter called Shadowgun Legends. The graphic details, let's change it to ultra high and the frame rate to 60 FPS. The graphics looks really nice, but the frame rate being visibly reduced, it's almost never on 60 FPS. It often being dropped, which results in visible lags, especially when load is going on on the screen. 
so the S89 Pro might not have the highest specs, as the display which doesn't handle 90 FPS in 2022 isn't really considered a gaming display, but I absolutely love the feel of this phone. It's heavy, it's got a good grip, and it certainly won't slip out of my hands while I'm playing games. The S89 Pro runs on stock Google Android 12 with very minor tweaks from Doogee. By the way, the phone also supports NFC, which means secure and contactless payments, and as mentioned earlier, it has a fingerprint reader and face recognition feature. I think the S89 Pro is a good rugged smartphone in 2022, with a pretty good specification in comparison to other rugged phones currently available in terms of screen, cameras and even the battery, this phone certainly will not disappoint you at this price range. The prices at the time of making this video, you can get it from around 300 British pounds or from 369 American dollars or 399 euros or under 8000 Mexican pesos. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV.